In this video, I will show you how to make an e-commerce website in Odoo. So first head over to Odoo and just click on start now, it's free. And then you have different apps and on their website, you just want to select e-commerce. So click e-commerce and then you can see if you only use this one app, then it's free with unlimited users forever. However, you may also want the live chat, maybe also the inventory and accounting. But for now, I'll just get started with the e-commerce app and click continue. Now here, enter your details. And then after clicking on start now, it will say, welcome to Odoo. Now here it says, ready to build the perfect website. So go and click, let's do it. Now here it says, I want, and just select the one that you want. Now I'm going to select an online store. And for my, whatever it is, business, for example, I'll go clothes business. And then with the main objective to get leads, develop the brand, sell more, I'll go sell more, but you can pick any of these. Now here you can choose your color palette. You can also detect it from your logo. So I'll upload a logo. So for example, I've uploaded this logo, so then it detects those colors, but I'm actually going to go with a different one because I think three colors is best. So I've picked one now. Now here you can add pages and features, so this is very easy. For example, if I'm going to create an e-commerce store, maybe I want to have a privacy policy, maybe a live chat, an about us page, and a store's locator. Now it is important to know that if you're going to select multiple here, then it could be that you will need to have different apps, and then Odoo will no longer be free. For example, the live chat is a separate app. So after selecting the pages you want, go and click build my website. Now here you can select a theme, so you can just hover over them with your mouse and see what they look like. So just find the one that you think looks nicest. For this example, I'll go with the one in the middle and click on it. Now it's applying your colors and design and your logo if you have already uploaded it. So just wait for this to finish. So that will take you right here. Now from here, you can see what the website looks like. And now of course, you're gonna want to customize this page. To do this, first I'm just going to unpublish it right there and then click edit in the top right. That will take you to the editor and from here you can just go and edit anything you want. So you can add any ratings, buttons, you can go to the customize section and then click on a block and then here you can customize this specific block. For example, you could upload a different image and in the theme section you can change the colors and the theme of your website. You can also change the fonts and headings and the spacing and stuff like that from here. Now to go to a different page, just click on it right there and then go to the specific page. And then you can also see that one. And here you can then also edit it. Now, of course, we're going to want to have some products to actually create our store. So I'll show you later how you can add that. So to add a new product, all you need to do is click new in the top right. From here, go product. And now here, just name your product, upload any images, select the barcode and price, and you can add a category, then click save, and that product will then be added as a product in your store. So for example, I've just uploaded this right here, and now you can see this is what it looks like. So if you have multiple images, then people can scroll through it, and people can also see the description and stuff like that. Then to edit the page, for example, I could want to have a rating. So then I take the rating block and just drag it in wherever I want it. Now in the categories here, you can also just add a block, for example, an intro. And if you then drag that into one of these blue bars, you can then see this. So you can then pick what you want. For example, this one, or if I want something else, I can just click on it and then select a different one. But if I want to remove it again, I can just click on the back button and then just choose another one. So again, I'll do intro right here. And then here, for example, I could go with content or maybe contact and forms or text, whatever you want to add in. So for example, I'll add this one and then you can see that one is now also added onto this product page. So once you're done, just click save in the top right and then that product page is saved. Now to optimize the SEO, all you need to do is click on that and then it will actually help you optimize the SEO. Now you can just go back to all products and add more if you'd like to. And you can sort by featured, newest, and low to high. And this is, of course, also what your customers can do. Now to change any part of the website, for example, the phone number, just click on edit in the top right, and then click on the section that you want to change. And now here I can just change this phone number. 
Now, for example, the card button, I can also change the way that that looks. So I can change the template of the header. So for example, if I click on that one, then you will see that it now changes to a different look. So you can just pick for everything what you think looks best. Now you can also change the background. So we have a few presets right here, but you can also go custom or gradient. For example, if I click on this one, then you will see now the header becomes a gradient. Now just go through every single page and click on it and just go and update it however you would like to have it. So building an e-commerce website using Odoo is not that difficult. You just want to first customize the look of it, then go to shop and go and add in all your products again by clicking on new. And now if you click e-commerce in the top left and then here click products, you can then see all of your products here. And for example, if I click on this one, I can then go into some more of the details. For example, is it a good service or combo? You can set the invoicing policy, sales price and stuff like that again. You can go to sales. So here you can add anything else. And in accounting, if you have the accounting app, then you can also do that through here. And if you have the inventory app as well, then you can also add how many of this specific product you have, and then you will not sell it when it's out of stock. So that could be helpful. Now to add your own custom domain to your website, you just want to go to configuration right here and then click domain name. Now first you need to confirm your email. So an activation email is sent to your email address. And in the email, just click to activate your database right there and then choose a password and confirm it. So after confirming everything, you will see your website here. Now to edit it, just go in the top left and here click editor and then you will get to the editor again. Now from here, go back to configuration and click domain name. And now here, if your website is ready, click my website is ready. And then here you can use your own domain that you already have, or you can get a new one. For example, if I don't have one yet, I can just search for it right here and then buy it. And then I can add that domain to my website. Now in the app section right here, you can just get any other apps that you may need, such as, for example, in this case, the inventory or maybe even the manufacturing app. So then you can set that up as well. But now in Odoo, if you click on your account in the top right and then click my databases, you will then see them right here. So this is the business and then click connect. And now here you can see a few different sections. Now, if we go into the website, then here again, we can find the e-commerce website. But from this section, we can also go to invoicing, dashboards, discuss, settings and more. So now in the dashboard here, you can also see your orders and revenue and the average price per order and stuff like that. So now you have created your own e-commerce website in Odoo. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.